it's no secret that we've been looking at Bahrain uh, for for quite a while, and uh, we also have, we are actually or are planning to open up in Bahrain 2011. However, now we're just awaiting the situation uh, to see what uh, what will happen there. In recent weeks, there has been unrest in some parts of northern Africa and the Gulf. How has this affected investments in the region and the performance of the bank? I think in terms of banks' performances, um, uh, we don't do any lending, but as we are an expanding bank, progressive bank, uh, who would like to expand our business in the Middle East, I think, and for any other company, maybe financial industry or maybe in, in, in banking, uh, political, political instability is never a good thing. Uh, it's never a good thing for, for foreign direct investments or it's, it's never a good thing for, uh, for, for, for expanding your business. Um, Sex Bank is no different. Um, we would like to expand, but with political instability, it, it's, it, you have to, of course, just take a, take a breath and, and stay back until you see the stability and necessary stability is there. According to your yearly report, Global economic growth will be evident in the second part of 2011. What are the factors that will lead to this upturn, especially in the region? In the region, it's, uh, you will see now that, especially if you look at the UAE, there's now a structure in place on the debt, debt recovery plans. Um, things are more transparent and more, more clear than they were, were previously. Um, it seems like the real economy, I mean, the trading economy, uh, besides financial, is, sti is still going going along. Um, and yes, there's still an, a great amount of investment happening around outside the UAE. If you look at the Saudi Arabia, if you look at Qatar, and so on, the public, the, the increased public spending, which will definitely benefit the uh, the, uh, the the growth rates. Uh, for UAE, we've uh, we've looked in and we've we've. We, uh, we anticipate 3% uh, growth uh, for the UAE. Dubai might be like slightly slower, but uh, we see the, the growth uh, driven out of, out, of, uh, out of mainly Abu Dhabi in the UAE. However, we do expect growth in Dubai as well. The report also warned that strong markets will remain volatile amidst recovery. How does the region compare to other parts of the world? Volatility will remain as long as there is uncertainty. Uh, and, and now we are going through an, uh, we're going through a time of uncertainty. Um, as soon as we are, as soon as we're back to normal, uh, which we hope will be shortly, I think, then, 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 then I think we'll be more better in line. The Middle East will be more in line with uh, the global markets. Thank you, Jacob. That was Jacob Thompson, CEO of Saxo Bank in Dubai. The Copenhagen-based bank has had a good year in the Middle East and is planning to expand further within the region.